Without Payne Community Hospital, I couldn't work and live in my hometown. Without Payne Community Hospital, I would have to travel three times a week for my physical therapy. Without Payne Community Hospital, I miss a lot of school for my orthopedic doctor's appointments. Without Payne Community Hospital emergency room, I might not be here. Pena Community Hospital. We'll be here when you need us. The Pena Panthers dusted off their white jerseys on Tuesday when they hosted the Mattoon Green Wave for their first action on their home court this season. The Panthers won the opening tip and senior Adam Miller wasted no time driving into the teeth of the Mattoon defense to earn a trip to the line. Miller hit one of two but Mattoon answered with a pair of Jacob Spitz threes to take a 6-1 lead early in the game. Senior Brock DeWerf muscled his way in for two, then Miller hit a pair of free throws to get the Panthers back within one. The Green Wave hit one of two from the free throw line on their first trip to the charity stripe with pandemonium distraction in full force. Miller hits his first field goal of the game with this three and the Pena defense forces a Mattoon turnover to put the momentum shift in full swing going Pena's direction. Nice catch by a fan there in the stands. Senior Jake McLeod comes off the bench and provides just the spark that the Panther offense needed as he sinks a corner three to put the Panthers up 14 to 13 after one quarter of play. Joe England is fouled on a fast break and sinks a pair from the charity stripe to start the second. But Mattoon answers with buckets of their own to cut into the Pena lead. Brock DeWerf scores on a nice feed from Adam Miller before McLeod makes his way in for an acrobatic two. The Panthers picked up their play on the defensive end with Lynch knocking away a pass and hustling down the floor to finish off the putback. Then he knocks the ball away again and feeds it to McLeod for another Panther bucket. Pena capped off a 10-0 run with a nice reverse layup by Lynch and Nick McMillan closed out the first half with a pair of free throws after a technical foul was called on Mattoon's coach to put the Panthers up 33-24 heading into the break. Mattoon went on a run to start the third, but Miller hit a three from the corner to stop the bleeding. The Green Wave scored inside again before Nick McMillan drained a corner three of his own to put the Panthers back on top, but the Green Wave hit a runner as the buzzer sounded to knock the game up at 40 heading into the fourth. It's hard to see him, but Miller opens the fourth with a tray then capitalizes on a steal by McMillan and puts it in despite some contact. Mattoon rallied back though and took a brief lead, but Kyle Lynch finished off a fast break for an easy two, and Brock DeWerf is fired up after he finishes at the basket with a defender draped on his arm to tie the game back up at 47. After an Adam Miller three-point play put the Panthers back on top, Kyle Lynch drove to the basket to build on the lead, and the duo of Joe England and Adam Miller sank some clutch free throws at the end to seal the Panthers 61 to 57 win. Yeah, you know, we just talk every day about facing adversity and sticking together as a family and I think that showed tonight. You know, we got down after having the big lead, but we're able to just keep clawing, keep doing kind of what we do, attacking the boards, uh, knocking down jump shots, passing the ball well. Most importantly though, playing defense, trying to shut guys down. I think we did a good job of that tonight. They have a couple you know, elite shooters, a couple guys that can really score the basketball. We did a good job.